Hello everybody, I am Mustafa Jafur and welcome to part 2 of EDR series. In this tutorial, I will show you how to insert into database. So, to insert into database, there is no difference at all between inserting from uh, my, to or sorry to Microsoft Visual Studio or to SQL Management Studio. So um, let's make a new function. Void uh, inserts query. Okay. What we need here is to copy this. Okay, you can use uh, the, the first SQL connection. There is no difference. And uh, but I will use the first one because if we are not changing the we are not changing the directory to the link of the directory uh, the the effects will not appear but only in runtime i hope you understand what i am saying okay so insert it query copy the first one or leave it alone and uh, delete this okay delete them all in the insert query make a new object of sql command call it command equal a new sql command and then command define the connection of this command and it is connection this connection now let's add a command command dot command text equal here we will type the sql query insert into the name of the table and it is names values we will insert values so we will use something called parameters this symbol means we are using parameter so call it name or anything you want but it's better to make it the same okay i will insert name throw a parameter so command dot parameters dot add with value you can add add range add with value okay add with value the string parameter name and its name the same should be it's the same okay uh, with this symbol then from where it will take its value let's add um, text box and a button button insert and insert okay now from text box one dot text then let's say connection dot open so in order to execute this command we should first open the connection and then execute the command command dot execute non query okay then connection dot close later connection or command dot parameters dot clear if you are using windows forms 
don't forget to use this line command.parameters.declare so each time you call this function it will empty the parameters then refill it again okay if you are not typing this line it will show you an error the same parameter is already used okay save and call that call this function and on click okay and the button insert okay save then rebuild view in a browser now I'll type my name Mustafa Jafu insert okay go to the Microsoft SQL management studio and in the table select top thousand two thousand rows you find Mustafa Jafur now I'll do I want to do the same thing to uh, the database and uh, application data okay but it's the same okay so let me do it in another way I will change this void to integer or no make it void and uh, Let's make here int row equal command that execute non query. So the result of this execute non query, I'll put it in row. So why it's integer? It's integer because it returns how many rows has been executed. Let's make a label. Okay now label one dot text equal um, raw dot to string refresh the page Let's say on Mustafa insert and it's one okay you can use this in uh, check purpose so for example let's see an integer and uh, enter return row okay so if row i'm sorry if uh, and result equal this okay if result is bigger than zero label one dot text equal success and this okay success else label one dot text equal failed save and rebuild now refresh the page and uh, Mustafa Jafur insert success okay now now we learned how to make an insert query the same thing will be for delete and update but only with with changing this command now let's make another function for update update names set name 
equal parameter uh, parameter name okay where id equal for example uh, one so i'm updating the first row where id is one okay uh, parameter name okay okay update it query and update it query save rebuild the first row is mustafa the fourth whereas id equal one okay now refresh the page and change it to um anything you want okay insert success execute and mr okay so it is very simple now the same thing you can do it for delete okay but uh, let me show you another thing uh, text box one another text box i will make okay text box two um let's take another parameter a id at id okay so i'll take the parameter id from another text box okay from text box 2 save rebuild and refresh there is two text boxes text box 1 and 2 text box 1 the name um, i'll call it ali or anything okay and i want to change the second row to to insert success so where id 2 should be from mustafa to ali and it's ali okay now let's make another one for delete delete from names names where id equal id okay we don't need the text box one okay and delete save rebuild and i want to delete the first one insert success and the first one should be deleted musto where id equal one and it has been deleted um, we have learned how to execute a query how to make a command and how to connect to make a associate the command to a connection how to insert update and delete okay in sql and uh, we learned what is parameters and how to add the parameters uh, the they are all simple there is uh, no difference at all but in the sql query but in the next tutorial i will show you how to make a select query thank you for watching my tutorial and uh, please subscribe for more tutorials